This video is brought to you by Prompt Valley Air Conditioning and Heating. 775-727-7488. It's good. It's good. You know, the lines are long, but we're trying to get people through as fast as we can. I've heard the wait is about 30 minutes. We have a lot of same-day registrations, and that does take a long time. You know, this is a huge presidential election. Everybody wants their vote to count, and I just think everybody wants to vote. You know, we have over 12,000 mail ballots already returned, and then the turnout for early voting was over 8,000, and I bet today we hit a few thousand, too, just throughout the county. Sandra said that early voting numbers this year aren't as high as in the past. She thinks that's due in part to the extra time it is taking to process in voters. Yes, it is. Everything is an effort. You know, we're cleaning pens, we're cleaning the kiosks where they sign in, we're cleaning the machines. So it does take a little longer. And the hard thing is actually the, the rurals. You know, this is considered the big city, I guess, but in Round Mountain and Beatty and Amargosa, those voters, because they didn't come in for early voting, they're just getting slammed today. Those people are showing up to vote in person, so they're very busy today. Marlino said the preliminary results will be released tonight around 8 p.m., but mail-in ballots will still remain. Mail-in ballots must be postmarked today, and the clerk's office has 10 days to count those. Counting of mail-in ballots began on October 19th. No matter how long the line is, if you're in line at 7 p.m., you will be allowed to vote.